have made it to Flam and it's currently raining but hopefully that won't spoil what we are about to do um, in about an hour. Flam is a really really tiny little village. I think it's got something like 400 residents right next to a fjord. Oh there's a car coming, hold on. Might be a bit noisy. And in a really beautiful valley. That's all it is really, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a really beautiful place. So we're camping here in a proper campsite. We're not wild camping for the next two days. Um, the campsite's lovely as well. We've got really nice mountain views and stuff in the town. About an hour we are going to get what is described as the world's most beautiful train ride. It's a bit windy so I don't know if you can hear. About an hour up to Myrdal and then we're going to walk back down and that's basically what we're doing. So I will take you along and show you the views. Um, apologies if you can't really hear any of this because it is pretty windy and rainy today but hopefully it doesn't spoil it too much. See you later. <laughs> window seats. because it's raining a lot and I don't want to wreck my camera but we made it to Miedo and um, it's very high up and very cold it's about a thousand meters high the waterfall was very cool that you just saw I don't remember the name of the waterfall itself but basically the train stops for about five minutes to give you the chance to take photos while you're out taking photos of the waterfall you hear this music start and these this lady comes out and start dancing um, and it's a performance put on by the local ballet school and it's supposed to represent a local forest spirit called Huldra. Um, so it was very cool, it was very cool mm -hmm. to see. But, yeah. So we're at the top now and for the next three hours we're going to walk back into yeah, Flon <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully the rain stops a bit because right now it's very cold and miserable but we'll see, it'll be fine. But yeah, there's all snow up here too. Very cool, very cool. We need to find where the hiking tracks are. Yeah. Wish us luck. <laughs> for almost four hours now. Where are you? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're nearly back in Flum. We're actually just walking through Old Town Flum. That's why we've got some houses behind us. Oh, look at this building. It's very nice. Hold on. Very nice. It's very pretty here. It's very scenic. There's a church over here as well that reminds me of Lauterbrunnen. So we went to Lauterbrunnen in Switzerland. Like this, it looks very similar to this. Yeah. How was the walk back? Um, very scenic. Yeah. Incredible. Scenes uh, look like from a post garden, yeah. but very long. Uh, yeah, and, a bit uh, too long. Yeah, to be honest, like it was beautiful, but yeah, it's four hours and it's all so, kind of very similar mm -hmm. scenery. Yeah, what we're thinking is that uh, it's not long compared to a hike because it was uh, four hours, yeah. so you could say a moderate hike. Yeah, but it's very, very easy all and all downhill. Uh, like like the, the the trail is not even a trail; it's just a. Uh, it's all road, basically, like yeah. this, so it's very easy to do. Yeah, it's just it's very long but it was very pretty and glad we did it and you know it didn't rain constantly <laughs> it rained for a lot of it yeah. but we are quite like damp and cold but we should be back to the harbour which is kind of where we're staying in the next like 30 minutes or so probably so we are back and about to have our dinner of <laughs> bread and cheese and ham and we also have chocolate too right yeah yeah so that's fine all good See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Time for breakfast. It doesn't look that great in the camera. It's called a sun bun. Well, and yours is a school bun, is it called? Yeah, school yeah. Very nice. School of Buller. Yeah, they're to celebrate the, the sun, essentially, yeah. which is very cute. But we are waiting for our field crews to depart. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. to 
Good Wangen. So this is the view from the port. It's very <laughs> nice. And we're basically staying here. So the bus we got back is at what, six? 6.30. 6.30. Um, so we're gonna wander around. There's a Viking like village here. Um, so we're gonna maybe go see how expensive that is. But the cruise is really, really lovely. The fjord you can see behind us is, is it the narrowest in the world? Oh, I don't know, but it's called Narrow Fjord. It's called Narrow Fjord. I think it's the narrowest fjord in the world. So you can see it's like very um, stark on either side. So it was very cool to do the cruise. For now, the rain has stopped too, so we can actually see a bit further than we could on the boat. And yeah, it's really nice. That's it really. Do you have anything else to say? See you later. We've come inside the Viking village. So far, very cool. Um, it's like 1.30 now, so we're wandering it around by ourselves. And then at two, I think we can join a guided tour around. And there's like people dressed up as Vikings. There's even chickens around. And she said we can do like ax throwing and archery maybe as well. Yeah. So very cool, very cool so far. <laughs> is to make our way towards the ferry crossing which tomorrow we will then take the ferry to Guranga. I can't even see me really. Um, so Guranga is our next kind of main destination on this road trip so today's kind of a, a bit of a filler day would you say to like get there. So we're driving to the ferry crossing which will then wild camp overnight somewhere pretty near there because our ferries tomorrow morning. So today it's gonna to be like sort of four or five hours driving. Um, and that's kind of the itinerary for today. We've got a couple of stops that we wanna go and see. So the first one we're heading to now is a, um, a viewpoint. And the second one is um, a stave church, which is a kind of very famous old Norwegian church basically. And then we'll stop wherever else we see that's nice, I think is kind of the, the vibe. So it's gonna be very chill. I will show you the viewpoint and the church and anything else pretty along the way and then finish the vlog, this video at least, when we get to the wild camping point for today because then the next video will be the Gerenga video. So no spoilers for that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see out the window, driving right alongside the fjord, which is bloody lovely. <laughs> So, and now you can see one. Yeah, you can see better now. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm always in to get some gingerbread for half price from a store because it's it's technically for Christmas right it cost us a pound which by Norwegian standards is like ridiculously yes, cheap it's yeah. A gift of it. yeah a random stop on the side of the road on our journey we have found this Boyabreen which is an offshoot of the largest glacier in Europe so up here you can see the glacier and it was just on the side of the road so we've pulled over to come and have a look <laughs> Let's go check it out. Hello. <laughs> so we arrived at the stave church and it's just behind me here. We weren't going to pay to go inside because basically I just wanted to come and take some shots of the outside and that was kind of it. But um, a very friendly German couple, I think they were German, walked past and they gave us their ticket stickers because they were leaving. So now we can go inside. So that's cool. Because <laughs> also there's like a whole area over here um, just behind the church that also might be nice for pictures that you can't go in unless you have a ticket. So quite happy about this outcome. Because otherwise it's like, I think eight pound each, did you say? More or less, yeah. Which isn't terrible, but it's like, it's literally teeny, teeny, tiny, so. And honestly, it seems really cool from outside. I I yeah, I don't know if it's going to be that cool inside, so, but now we can actually go have a look, so that's a very fortunate turn of events. <laughs> We 
found a spot to wild camp last night at a place called, do you remember what it was called? Hon uh, Hondal? It was a very pretty little bridge kind of area with a stream. Um, so we set up the tent there with views of the mountains, it was very nice. And camped there for the night and then today we've driven about 15 minutes to Hellesilt, which is where it's this place and we'll get the ferry from here to Giranga. So that's where this vlog finishes and the next video will start which will be about Giranga. So in terms of the Flom video, thank you for watching and goodbye! Mm -hmm.